Well, good evening and good to be back again on Geelong Newsbeat. Sometimes things happen to us in, uh, well, in sets, sets of two, sets of three, and a couple of things happened to me last week, or one thing that in particular I'd like to talk about tonight. I suppose the whole question of parenting is one that uh, is one of the major challenges of, well, of any generation really. Um, parents have one shot at it with, in the terms of uh, they have their family, one, two, three, maybe more children, but that's the, uh, the real, real focal point of their life, uh, which never goes away. Well, I'm not a parent, but I'm a child. We're all children, and so we've all ex experienced parenting in some shape or form. Three things happened to me this last week which uh, I think give a, a bit of an insight. Advice on parenting can be very simplistic and so on and it's a, to say it is a major challenge but I was with a good friend during the week and uh, he made a comment to me which was echoed in other things. He, he said to me, he said, uh, and he's a very loving dad, this particular fellow, and he said, uh, he said him, the bottom line of parenting, he said, is that mum and dad have got to love each other. And uh, I thought back to my own parents. Um, my my dad, actually, will have be born a hundred years ago on Thursday, the, uh, the, sec the 6th of August. He was born on the 6th of August, 1908. So it's a sort of a special day. And uh, I was very lucky to have a, a wonderful mum and dad. Not everybody is. But uh, and a lot of people can uh, carry the scars if they don't. And a lot of people move through it and still make a good life. But I thought that was an interesting comment that the uh, one of the most important parts is for mum and dad to love one another. I then read an article in the Age uh, last Wednesday by Catherine Devaney, who's a somewhat uh, often somewhat controversial writer, and uh, but she wrote some interesting things about the fact that parents give children odd names and they might shower them in this uh, age of technical gadgetry and wizardry with all sorts of, uh, of gifts and opportunities. But uh, the, the article was headed, All They Need Is Love. And uh, it was, uh, again, some could look at it as being somewhat simplistic, but uh, it was a pretty good insight and a good reminder that the most important gift that can be given to children at any stage is love. And then on Friday I celebrated a funeral and the, uh, it was a funeral of a gentleman by the name of Noel Spears who was a racehorse trainer. I was very taken by some of the words that uh, his, his children wrote that they had read on their behalf at the, uh, at the funeral. And uh, I'll just read it out. It sort of ties in with those other two comments. They wrote about their dad. They said, as kids we felt we were rich even though we didn't have a lot of material things. We never seemed to want for anything because there was an abundance always of warmth and love and because Dad and Mum had this ability to build and create a beautiful home environment where we always felt safe. And uh, I heard those words uh, just on the heels of those other two uh, pieces of advice. All they need is love and for Mum and Dad to, to love each other I thought, well, maybe that's the, I suppose it was a racing mass, <laughs> racing funeral, uh, the third leg of the trifecta, one might say. The, uh, those things, I suppose, yeah, people can say they are simplistic, but they are important. We, we live in an age in which there is a temptation for parents to shower their kids with material goods and opportunities, and deep down I think we all know that those things don't make the, all the difference. What does make all the difference is that sense of love, of warmth, of safety, of being cared for, loyalty. None of this is original, but it's good to be reminded of it from time to time. Maybe for those of you who are parents who are watching that, watching this, uh, you might think, well, uh, is there an area in which I can give a little more love to my children? We might give a lot of things, but is that love as clear, as demonstrated as it might be? good to think about from time to time. Good to be with you on Geelong Newsbeat.